What's inside a propane tank? And what happens when you cut it open? An experiment on a propane tank. This guy always comes up with crazy ideas. First, he pours out some of the liquefied petroleum gas. Soon, a layer of water mist appears on the inside of the tank. Then, he puts it in liquid nitrogen. The liquefied petroleum gas gradually becomes more and more viscous. It finally solidified into something like a slushy solid. Then Asan carried the gas canister and climbed a 36-meter high tower in one breath. Immediately afterwards, he threw the gas canister from the air. An unbelievable sight occurred. The moment it made contact with the ground, the gas canister bounced directly off the ground. It didn't cause any actual damage. This time, I carried the gas tank to the volcano. I just threw the gas tank down. The calm lava suddenly became turbulent. Flames erupted from time to time. It felt like the volcano was about to erupt the next second. Asan brought another gas tank. He prepared to cut it open to see what's inside. First, I'll release all the gas from the propane tank. Then I'll get out the cutting torch and prepare to cut it open, even though all the gas has been released. This operation is still dangerous. If there's any gas remaining, then it could ignite from the sparks of the cutting torch and cause an accident. But Asan, to find out what's inside, doesn't care so much. After a while, the gas canister was finally cut open. Inside, there was nothing but a mess of black soot, and surprisingly, nothing else. 